Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another episode of The New Marketing Show. Greg Taylor from Trinity Web Media. Today I want to talk about business reviews. So, a lot of companies that I know, they do a fantastic job, but they don't have any reviews on the web for some reason. And the number one reason, the, the biggest reason why they don't have any reviews is they probably don't ask for them. Simple, right? So, if you want reviews from your customers, the best way to get them is to ask them to leave you a review. Now, some of the, you, you know, in in this day and age of social currency and this day of age of, you know, everybody gets referrals from the internet or for somebody that they know or, you know, strictly word of mouth and or word of search, right? It's a huge one too. Reviews are so, so important <clears throat> because if I've used a service, let's say uh, Cool Days Air Conditioning Company in Tempe, Arizona. It's actually a real company from my friend Dan Martin. You know, I've used them a whole lot when I lived in Arizona. I always left them reviews or told people, when you need somebody who does HVAC or <clears throat> AC stuff, look up Cool Days. You know, and the reason is, is word of mouth business is everything today. You know, nobody, I don't think people trust ads as much as they used to. They definitely don't trust television commercials. Back in the golden days of advertising, you know, celebrity spokespeople were were like the, the gold standard. Today, everybody knows that it's just a paid advertisement. It's just somebody being paid to say what they think about something. So if you want good reviews, if you want more reviews, and if you want people to take your business more seriously when they search, you know, uh, when, when they go to the search engines and they see search engines result pages, the SERPs as we call them, reviews are gonna be at the top of that list. Reviews are gonna be there. So if you ask your customers for them, they will leave them for you. Here's the second part of this whole thing. Let's make it easy for them. <clears throat> Send them a link when you ask for it, right? Send them a, have a, a link on your pay, on your website, you know, that makes it easy to take them to, you know, Google My Business or Yelp or wherever you, you know, Angie's List, um, wherever you get the most business from and wherever your industry kind of lives when it comes to that review ecosystem. So make sure you ask for them, make sure you make it easy. And I think that you're gonna see your business grow greatly. It's gonna, I think you're gonna see your business grow when you start getting reviews and when more, more people have good things to say about you. Last thing, you're gonna get bad reviews. You're gonna get reviews that are th two stars or three stars for the littlest of things, right? You're gonna be tempted to get these removed. You're gonna be tempted to try to suppress them. You're gonna definitely be tempted to respond to them. One, respond to negative reviews offline. Two, respond to them online saying, hey, I'm gonna reach out to you privately and we can discuss them why you are not happy. Three, leave them there. Now look, if you have, if a, a chiropractor, let's say, has 10, 15 reviews are all five star, you start to think a little bit about it, right? But if they have, you know, 12 five star reviews, like one four and one two, okay, then you can understand this is a real business and you can understand that these reviews are real and legitimate. Real legitimacy definitely counts when it comes to reviews. Thanks for watching. Hey, for more episodes like this, you can check us out on YouTube, Instagram, TV, our website, trinitywebmedia.com. We look forward to talking to you. Thanks.